الحمد لله الحمد لله هو أحق من ذكر وأحق من شكر وأحق من حمد وأحق من عبد وأرفع من ملك وأجود من سئل وأوسع من أعطاء وهو الملك لا شريك له والغيب لديه مكشوف وكل أهل إليه ملهوف وكل بنين إليه محتاج نحمده على نعمه ونشكره على جزيل آلائه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فاتقوا الله عباد الله واستمروا في الاجتهاد فيما بقي من رمضان فاتقوا الله فاتقوا الله أيها الصائمون وعلموا أن الأعمال بالخواتيم Brothers and sisters, Ramadan is a time where the Muslim directly experiences the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Kareem But during the month of Ramadan Allah's generosity is, is even more immense Allah's generosity is even more immense subhanahu wa ta'ala My brothers and sisters, may Allah be kind to us Let's try and inspect Allah's mercy, even though we won't do it enough justice. In this month, the month of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a book. A book which is going to be a guide for a whole species. Billions of people will benefit from this book. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that it is Ramadan, that this month, that the book comes down. Shahrul Ramadan al-Nadhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an hudan lin and if we just stop here, my brothers and sisters, we will realize that this is enough as a generosity from our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. But also in this month, our Prophet became a Prophet. In a narration that's reported by Tabarani, and it is Hassan, inshallah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, وَأُنزِلَ الْفُرْقَانِ The Qur'an was revealed لِأَرْبَعٍ وَإِشْرِينَ خَلَتْ مِنْ رَمَضَانِ On the 24th night of Ramadan, Therefore, generosity over generosity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan gave us the Qur'an and then gave our Prophet prophethood sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But not only that, the generosity then increased. Three nights later, on the 27th night of that same year, out of the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is immense all the time, but even more so in Ramadan, this Prophet became a messenger of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals to him, Ya ayyuhal muddathir, kun fa'anthir. My brothers and sisters, look at the generosity of our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, a generosity which is especially found in Ramadan. Not only did he give you a book, which is a guidance for you, but in Ramadan he gave you a prophet, who was then made a messenger, who was then made the best of mankind, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imam al-Sa'di rahimahullah in talking about Allah's generosity in Ramadan he said Allah will reward fasting because of his generosity and his kindness but what will that reward be for fasting? He continued rahimahullah al-Sa'di the reward for fasting is something which is so immense in its generosity it cannot even be expressed he will reward you with something which no eye has seen no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined. فَمَا ذَنُّكْ بِأَجْرِ وَجَزَاءِ تَكَفَّلُ بِهِ الرَّحْمَانُ الرَّحِيمُ الْكَرِيمُ الْمَنَّانِ What do you think your reward will be, my brothers and sisters? This is what Sa'adi is saying. What do you think your reward will be when the one that is giving it has attributes of being generous, the most generous, the most merciful? the bestower of blessings and gifts. So what do you think your reward is going to be when you are dealing with a Lord that is this generous, subhanahu wa ta'ala? فَمَا ذَنُّ كَنْ يَفْعَلُ اللَّهُ بِهَا أُولَاءِ الصَّائِمِينَ الْمُخْلِسِينَ Those who fasted, those who were sincere, what do you think about Allah? The answer is that we don't know. And as Sa'adi rahimahullah says, we don't know. We don't know the generosity of Allah's reward for us who are fasting. But what we do know is that the generosity of your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala when you see it 
your heart will be filled with joy. A joy that you have never experienced before. وَذَلِكَ فَضْلُ اللَّهِ يُؤْتِيهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَاللَّهُ ذُو الْفَضْلِ الْعَظِيمِ My brothers and sisters, in Ramadan, you can't count the favours of Allah. He opened the doors of Jannah. He sealed shut the doors of the hellfire. He locked up the shayateen for you so that they can't interfere with your fasting. He multiplied for you your rewards. He gave you a night that even though it's a few hours of worship, it is like you have worshipped Allah for 83 years. He pardons you. He hears your call. He boasts about you. He sends down the malaika so that they can be with you. He opens up the hearts of those people who are rich towards those people who are poor. He gave you a book to recite. He gave you a book to listen to so that we are the ones that will benefit, so that we are the ones that can find content in our soul, so that we are the ones that can find our hearts trembling. And then after all of that, my brothers and sisters, his generosity is even more increased because he gives you a day of celebration and a day of happiness and a day of Eid and unity. My brothers and sisters, for those who have a clean heart and an attentive ear and clear insight, they will see that Ramadan is a time where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been generous to you, perhaps in no way other in your life that you have experienced before. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, وَإِن تُعُدُّوا نِعْمَةُ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَغَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ بَارَكُ اللَّهِ وَلَكُمْ فِي الْقُرْآنِ وَالسُنَّةِ أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ونجمي المسلمين فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم استغفر الله وتوبه الحمد لله الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيقه وامتنانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له تعذيما لشأنه وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله الداعي إلى رضوانه فصلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وأعوانه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد my brothers and sisters a generous lord has sent us a generous nabi a generous book via a generous angel Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma, he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the only way that I can describe him to you, the people who have not seen him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is that he was ajwad al nas. He is the most generous of people. If there is anyone that was generous, it was him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَكَانَ أَجْوَدْ مَا يَكُونَ فِي رَمَضَانِ But this generosity increased in Ramadan. He was generous like no other. هِينَ يَلْقَاهُمْ جِبْرِيلِ and his generosity used to increase when he used to meet with Jibreel, a generous Lord who sent to us a generous book in a month where there is a great deal of generosity with Jibreel who was a generous angel to a Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who was extremely generous. But how was his generosity? Aisha radiallahu anha radiallahu anha she explains that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kana yajtahir fil ashr al-awakir ma lam yajtahir fi ghayr. He used to exert himself in the last 10 in a way that he has never done in the rest of Ramadan. This is how generous he was, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In another hadith, we learn the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those people who follow the example of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and increasing in worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during these last 10. He said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man qama laylatul qadr, imanu wa ahtisaba. Anyone who stands Laylatul Qadr, any one of these nights could be Laylatul Qadr. The person who stands and supplicates and worships, If this person stands with Iman and sincerity, the generosity of your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is so immense that this person's sins will be forgiven. All of his sins, the effects of the sins, the remnants of the sins, inclination towards that sin everything will be completely removed why because your lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is generous but if your lord is generous that can only mean that the slave must be thankful so we have another hadith of aisha radiallahu anha the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam walks in and he lies down next to her and he says to her aisha 
Can you permit me for me to be alone with my Lord tonight? Meaning, I do not want to sleep next to you. If you give me permission, I will be worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout this entire night. Aisha, her response, Inni lu'ahibbu qurbuk. Messenger of Allah, I love it when you are next to me. So stay next to me and do not worship. But she agreed. And she let him make wudu. And she said in describing the night prayer of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is that he stood throughout the whole night worshipping Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala weeping so much that his beard got wet and the earth around him got wet until Bilal came out to perform the Adhan for Fajr Salah. He stayed up all night and Aisha radiallahu anha was watching him, listening to him. And after he finishes, just before Salatul Fajr, she says to him, Ya Rasulullah, why do you do this to yourself? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven all of your previous sins, and he has forgiven all of your forthcoming sins. My brothers and sisters, his reply underlines the recognition of generosity that he has received from a generous Lord. A heart which is full of worship and gratitude to his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says to Aisha, if that is the case, if my Lord has been generous, أَفَلَا أَكُونَ أَبْدًا شَكُورًا Should I not then be a thankful servant to my Lord? Meaning I stood the night in prayer because I recognized the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over me. My brothers and sisters, recognize the generosity of Allah over you and he will show you that he can even be more generous than the generosity that you've already received. Ala sallallahu wa sallimu rahimu Allah. Ala imam al-sa'imin wa qudbut al-qa'imin. Qala ta'ala, inna allaha wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma sallimu wa sallimu wa zibu barik ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma aiz al-islam wa al-muslimin. Allahumma aiz al-islam wa al-muslimin. اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر أعداء الدين يا رب العالمين اللهم تحن مسجد الأقصى من المعتدين اللهم تحن مسجد الأقصى من المعتدين اللهم تحن مسجد الأقصى من المعتدين اللهم عليك بهم فإنهم لا يعجزونك اللهم عليك بهم فإنهم لا يعجزونك اللهم أرنا فيهم عجائب قدرتك يا قوي يا متين اللهم أسلح أحوال المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم أسلح أحوال المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم إن نسألك فعل الخيرات وترك المنكرات وهب المساكين وأن تغفرنا وترحمنا يا رب العالمين اللهم إن نسألك الفوز بالجنة اللهم إن نسألك الفوز بالجنة اللهم إن نسألك الفوز بالجنة ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم إن نعوذ بك من النار اللهم إن نعوذ بك من النار اللهم إنك عفو تهب العفو فأفو أن ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم اللهم تب لنا وإنك أنت التواب الرحيم اللهم اختم لنا رمضان بقبول ورضوان يا رب العالمين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا ذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسفون والسلام على المرسلين وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين